What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Ghost Fighter 2Ts. And you know I'm back with another informative video. Finally, there's an update for Need for Speed, and it is crossplay. And Abram Crossplay allows you to connect to with friends, members in your Need for Speed community, regardless of what platform they are playing on. Crossplay privilege can be changed via the game privacy setting menu in the lobby. Or, but only when you are outside of the party. So, with that being said, I did enable it. So that means that if you're on Xbox or you're on PC, you can get smoked by your boy. That's exactly what that means. Um, I think them doing crossplay is a good thing. We're gonna get right on into the video today, and I'm a we're gonna be talking about the Polestar, the Hero One car. We're gonna be talking about that. I haven't seen a lot of people do videos on it. So we're going to get right on into it. You're going to see it up, pop up here on the screen and we're going to get right on into it. And we're going to talk everything about it and what the direction of Need for Speed is going to do and where they're going to go with this particular game. Be right back after this. Okay, guys. Now, just using common sense, look how much of a beauty this car is and what they did with the design of this Polestar. Why is this car so nice? And they put so much time and money into this car because I used to be in the car, so I know. They put a lot of time and money into making this car and setting it up. So everything that we experience in the game, they actually try to take a, a represent, uh, representation and put it in real life for people to experience and, and donate money and all kinds of things that are caused. Why would they do all that but then leave us with a stale game that has uh, good gameplay but not enough story mode and not enough new events and things, uh, a way to change the game for people to play? So I just wanted to take notice to that, guys, before we get right on into the video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you're enjoying. Thank you. All right, what's good, YouTube? This is Ghostfighter2Ts back with a further part of the video. And today, you can see we have that awesome Polestar, man. Oh, my goodness. You're looking crazy, right? After seeing those pictures in uh, real life, this definitely is, uh, man, the one in the game look even better, <laughs> right? Oh, man, that thing looks beautiful. So we're going to get right on into this. And uh, wow, you can see it even has some, a whole bunch of plugs or something in the back. I'm not sure what all of it's for, but this is a beaut of a car. So this particular car, the Polestar, you cannot physically do anything to the body. You can see if you hit X on it, it doesn't do anything. So what we're going to do today is we're going to build it and we're going to see basically how this Polestar performs. So let's get right on into it since that's all we can do and we're going to race it. And uh, I have a challenge for my boy, Diverse. I'm going to build this car to its most max potential. You make sure that you use the same parts, Diverse. And we're gonna go to a racetrack, and we're gonna I'm gonna pick a I'm gonna pick a race, and we're gonna complete it, and let's and we'll see what happens. May the best man win. We're gonna see what happens. We can't go off build, so it's gonna be off racing, and we're gonna see who comes up with the best time at the end of the race. And uh, yeah, it's a challenge for my boy. I'm trying to get him on his uh, on his A game. So we're gonna go crankshaft ultimate plus. We're gonna go. ECU Ultimate Plus. We're gonna go Cooling Ultimate Plus. And we're gonna go Exhaust Ultimate Plus. Now that we have all those Ultimate Plus, let's see what kind of power we can get out of this with the Ultimate uh, Turbos. Let's see, yep. So that's a thousand. Okay, so the best potential we're gonna get out of all of these guys is Let's just say the first one, because we didn't do any of the other stuff. So we can go single ball bearing turbo. And then we're going to go. We can go five, equip. Is it going to be doing a race? Let's put that nice. Uh, no, not rally. Hold on, so you can't put track suspension on this? Rally, showcase suspension. And speed cross. What is this thing doing? 
we're gonna put track suspension pro up there because it don't have it in the other one of course we're gonna run some it already has the elite brakes on it and it seems like it already has the right tires up there but let's see Yeah, we'll, we'll run the elite tires we have up there now. <coughs> okay, so running this clutch, the elite plus clutch, it's already up there. Oh, uh, look, look, my boy, my boy Diverse talking crap now. I'm talking about he ready. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so it goes a little bit. Hold on. So this only goes 332. Ooh. So, since I'm used to running seven speeds, we'll run the seven speed. And let's go over here and put. Okay, does it already have it up? That's super. Super is the best one for this car? That's weird. It's, it's weird. Alright, so we can go superior track differential. Because there's no other choices. Repair kit too, and then you know we put on the uh, duration or damage damage reduction, so the car don't be riding around cutting a fool. All right, so now that we have that built, we got the full performance of it, and you can see that the the max power is a thousand eighty nine horsepower. Um, yeah, let's get right on into a race. And I just kind of want to talk to you guys while we're doing this. Um, and what I want to talk about is the direction of Need for Speed. Are they going to give us a new game for Need for Speed? Or, or are, they, are they going to uh, enhance this one? Because I really think this is a really good game. And the only thing that this game is missing, it has all the looks. It has the board. It has everything. The only thing that this, this this game is missing All right, we'll go down the road. We'll find a I know where race is. Seem like like it handles pretty good. Let's do some live tuning to it. seem like one of the slower cars man for this to be they like the car that they put time and money into for this particular game you would think that this car would be i don't know man i feel like it should be a lot more power than a thousand eighty nine horsepower which that's not a little bit of horsepower but compared to all the other games that i've done this this car definitely should be a lot faster than it is looks sweet though Looks sweet. So, what is the direction of this game that they're trying to do with Need for Speed? They got the way that it looks. They brought some things that we like back to the game. I really think in order for this game to be good, if they're not going to make a new Need for Speed and it's going to stay Need for Speed Heat 2.0 or whatever. Update they did today was uh, Need for Speed Update 1.07. And as far as I can see, uh, nothing visually changed too much. I think some loading screen and the crossplay was uh, implemented. But why are they doing it so late in this game? This game, uh, I, I don't know, man. I really don't even know what to say. I, I don't know what I can say that would make this game be better, but I do know that they need to revamp it and give it maybe an in-depth story mode is one thing it definitely needs. I won't mess up on that corner. I won't mess up on that corner, Diverse. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> Got it down to a T now, baby. Let's go. Um, So I don't know really what they can do to really make this game be better, but I will say that it definitely needs a story mode. And it definitely needs a, a mode of something that's going to help you uh, get more cars, implement more cars. Definitely need to implement more cars. We definitely want that. 
like you know like that's going to be something that's going to be game changing is to implement new cars into the game nobody wants to play with the old cars over and over and over again i think we need something new i mean you guys agree with me let me know in the comment section while i'm doing this race i hope you guys are enjoying yourself man and uh i'm right at 3700 to 4000 with watch hours on my channel and i'm so proud of myself and i wanted to pat myself on the back um not to make myself be better but i want to pat myself on the back because i stayed steady with uh doing videos and stuff on this uh and i and i didn't have watch time from doing uh none of my none of my watch time was from doing actual streaming which i didn't have a lot of time of this year it was actually from playing the game so um it, i mean it was actually from you know doing uploads i actually was uploading a very very aggressively this year i feel like this time is going to be really good even though this car isn't the fastest oh i handled that corner i handled that corner I'm like hitting the horn as I'm going around corners as I'm pushing it in the pad too much. Hey, that nitrous stay used. I'm so ready to get this video out for Diverse. He is going to be in for a surprise. Bum, bum. See if he can beat my time, baby. You got to set it up just like I did. I don't want no excuses, Diverse. I'm tired of losing to you in races. <laughs> yeah, man, but basically, long story short, man, with the new update, and that shows that they do care about their game, and they are implementing stuff in the game. They they just need to do an overhaul and just, they need to do an overhaul. So what was my time? Because this is what Diverse does all the time. He beats my time, and then he's like, oh, did I get him? Oh, I think I got him. Three minutes, 11 seconds, and 48 tenths of a second. There you have it. $72,000. You see the time, 311.48. I'm challenging Diverse to see if he can beat that time. I hope you guys enjoyed this very informative video and this sweet post-star ride, man. This is one of the sweetest rides on the game for, for the looks. Uh, I can't say so much for the way it performs because it's only a 1,000 horsepower. There's a lot of cars up here that got five or six more horsepower than this car but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i haven't seen many people playing need for speed putting out need for speed videos so i figured i would i figured i would showcase this car this is a car you saw that they took pictures of they they put money into it and spent thousands of dollars on this car so i'm thinking as much time as they invested in making this car that they would put it into the game who are the people who are making this game whoever they are they need to get on a stick and they need to really get us some new content a new storyline that that falls right in the line with what we've already experienced in the game and just make it where it's it's in where it pulls you in that's all need for speed needs to do the need for this need for speed needed to be like the one that was like maybe two or three times ago and it was called i think it was called need for is just called need for speed but the story cinematic was off the chain man you felt like you was really in the game uh playing your role and uh being a part of the crew and doing races and all kinds of stuff and meeting up with Japanese legends and all kinds of stuff. This game didn't do that. They they dropped the ball on that. So I'm hoping the best for Need for Speed and that some updates and stuff will come and it will get better. Um, like I said, this is a challenge. We can't do anything to the car physical appearance, and uh, but we could do performance. So diverse, you've seen how I hooked it up. Make sure you do your research and, and, your, and get on your stick and let me see if you can beat 311. Now, don't you be sitting there redoing your video over and over again until you beat my time. I think that's what you might have did some of them times, but I ain't going to complain. It's me putting out the, the challenge, so I challenge you, Diverse. I'm going to make sure I leave the description uh, of his channel down in the comment section of who I'm challenging and his YouTube channel so you guys can go support his channel as well. I'm trying to keep him on keep him on track even though you know he works a lot. I'm trying to keep him on track so that he can uh, get his YouTube channel booming. Um, I'll give you a little bit of my analytics. Uh, it says lately uh, I've gained 25 
1.9 thousand views over the past 28 days. Uh, watch time hours has went up by a thousand and subscribers has went up for over 70 or 80 subscribers. So that means I am doing something right. I'm gaining subscribers in a way that I know that they're going to stay loyal to my, cha my channel. So I appreciate you, Ghost Gang. I love you guys. Make sure y'all drop a like, drop a sub if you guys are new. And I'll keep putting out these heat videos for y'all. And I'm out.